got my, some Mizuno JPX 850s. All right, we got a Callaway staff bag and we've got a set of a Callaway X18. Crushed, oh, you might drive the green, let alone me. All right, looks like they got some new golf clubs in for us. We got a nice uh, ladies bag and a ladies set. Be fun to do a uh, Medicus only challenge. Got a white hot putter in there. Pebble Creek. Pebble Creek Country Club. Also, we are terrible at keeping scores, so that might uh, come in handy. <laughs> but let's see if we got any uh, other things more suited for my game. That would definitely be a challenge. We got an uh, RBZ driver in here. Looks like a left-handed set, though. That would definitely be a challenge yes. as well. <laughs> Oh, we got some Wilson Fat Shafts. Those were here last time. Also, they got the uh, Tiger Shark putter still going on. My brother, I've tried to convince him to get a new putter. <laughs> he will not go away from this. He really likes the grip. I yeah. told him you can get like that grip on any putter, but... You don't mess with... Yeah, don't mess with uh, success. You got a uh, Big Bertha Warbird for $30. Got an Aero Burner Hybrid. I think that's left-handed, though. Nope. We can uh, take a look at it rather than me just feeling around <laughs> in it. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's one of the newer Aero Burners. Uh, what do we get? How much is that? is $40. $40. Also, I forgot to say that Ashley's playing with her clubs and there was a budget involved. We're going to try and stick to a $50 budget. So, yeah, but if we yeah. Knowing us if we find something that we can't resist. Yeah, last time we were in here, we found that Kiwa Island uh, Rider Cut bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll definitely blow our budget uh, <laughs> <laughs> if we find something like that. Yeah, we'll just play with a golf bag. $89 to the ping answer. That's a pretty good deal. Hmm. All right, we're gonna be going to a few, so I don't want to just buy something to buy something. Yep. All right, nothing so far at the first pawn store, but those guys are always super nice. But let's see if we can find the next pawn store. All right, let's take a look at what they got. They got a couple of sets over here. We got a Virginia Cavaliers bag. Let's see where this guy played. The Legends course in Myrtle Beach. I think that's a, uh, um, like 18 holes of famous holes, like a replica course. Oh, gotcha. Yep. Let's see what uh, clubs they are playing with. Uh, some Palm Springs, and then over here we got an old Akushnet set. Got like a, a two ball knockoff. How much is that going for? Uh, 29 bucks. Clubs, no brand name. <laughs> <laughs> Clubs, no brand name. Yeah, that would describe that, but the bag is pretty cool. Seen better days, definitely has some uh, some sun damage to it, but there's another bag up front that's out of our budget, but we'll go take a look at that. <laughs> All right, we got a Callaway staff bag, and we've got a set of uh, Callaway X18 iron, seven through pitching, or seven through approach wedge, actually. We got a Callaway ERC driver and a big berth of fairway wood for $99. But this place, they uh, mark it down based on the date. We'll have to come back when it would be in budget. Well, what is that? September? <laughs> yeah, September 1st. We can come back and it'll be within the $50 budget, but still got a few more pawn stores. Let's uh, check them out. I could do out the door 99. Out the door 99? Yeah. Mm. Um, but I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm making basically nothing on it. Mm -hmm. it yeah. Listen, I, I bring clubs in for 10 or 12 bucks is what I bring them in. I don't know who spent what we spent on these. Yeah. I'm just, I just know I can't move them. Yeah, all the uh, shops that we go to, like they're like, yeah, we don't take them, but when we do, we pay nothing for them because no yeah. one buys them. Yeah, Bro, I had a set I brought it for five dollars, <laughs> full set. It was a full set, like. And I told the guy, look, man, I, I mean, I'm just gonna warn you before I even. This is where I'm gonna be on it because mm -hmm. I don't care. I just need some extra cash. <laughs> yeah. I don't even use them. Yeah. No, just take cool. Them. Here's your five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, we'll probably be back though. Yeah, man. Thank you. I don't know if you guys could hear that at the last pawn shop, but he was basically saying that those clubs were $99 and that's how much he paid for them. He usually tries to get them for like $5 because they never sell, so I don't know. We've been to pretty much every pawn shop in the uh, the area except for this one. This one's like a castle, so maybe they've got a, a castle full of golf clubs for us. But That'd be nice. Yeah, this is proving to be much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But. Ashley's winning so far because I don't have any clubs to play with. There you go. All right, they've got one full set and it is $50 on sale from 70, but I'm not sure if we're going to be uh, buyers of this. Don't really want to buy something just to buy it and then have them just like sit around and do nothing. Rather uh, be able to pass along the savings to you guys or something like that after we use them. But they do have a master's head cover. That's not worth $50 by itself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think there's one more pawn shop that we're going to go to. Yeah. And if we find something there, you'll you'll see this video. If not, we're going to go home and Cry. All right, not much luck yet, but this is a good sign here. We got a Callaway display uh, sign up there. I get it. Got a whole. What? You made a pun. Good sign. That was an unintended pun. A good <laughs> sign, and it was a sign. Man. You yeah. stumped yourself. Yeah, I don't even have to try. Got my, some Mizuno JPX 850s. 
preset. We've got some Izuno cliques and then a uh, set of uh, Ping G20s over here. Yeah, those ones are, uh, what is that, 400 bucks? Uh, is this, so this is 400 for everything Everything in this bag? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this one is kind of like random stuff. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Hold on. Like 50? Oh, no. Okay. I think it's my like 150. 150? Yeah. Can I take these ones out? So the the random ones out and then just get the you know? So it'd be one, two, three, four, five. These and those? Yeah. Let me look at Okay. All right, we made it out to the golf course and John has already cheated. I don't know if you guys could hear in that last pawn shop, it was a little loud and crowded, but he already spent $68 of his $50 budget. So we need to figure out some sort of penalty for that. Yep, maybe you get an extra shot. Yeah, I already get one shot or hole, so I'll get a, like a mulligan. Yeah, on the hardest hole, you can have a mulligan and on the hardest hole you get an extra shot. But oh, nice. I don't have a putter, so I don't know if that's really a that's disadvantage. That's already a penalty. Got, <laughs> well, if you've watched the channel before, you know I don't putt well anyways, but. I can take a chair. Yeah, we're playing four holes. We'll take a closer look at the clubs when we get out to the first yeah. hole. Our tee time's in like one minute. Ooh. No warm up, <laughs> nothing. Just going. <laughs> Just going. We'll meet you at the first hole. Go. First hole is 275 yards. John's going with one of the hybrids, which we'll show you in a second. Well, it's forgiving because I hit that way off the heel, but it still went pretty straight. So we got two of these hybrids, the Mizuno Fly High Cliques, and then over here we got the, uh, uh, we have that in the uh, 20 and 23 degree, and then we got five pitching wedge and gap wedge of the JPX 850s. And Ashley's playing with her clubs, but pretty good pickup. I think each of these iron sells for about 25 or $30 a pop, and then same with the uh, hybrid. So definitely got a good deal there. We didn't want to just buy stuff randomly. Yeah. But enough rambling. Ashley's uh, up. And you got a secret weapon. Ooh. We got the four yards longer tees. Did I already give you it? Yeah, you already gave it to me. All right, we'll show you this have. in a second. Showing you everything in a second, but actually, uh, already. Oh yeah, <laughs> guaranteed four yards longer and straighter. So, Ashley's got tons of advantages today. <laughs> although I did cheat already. Oh, that is crushed. Four yards longer too. Oh, you're gonna hit the center line. I didn't even notice they had that out there. No. Guaranteed nice. four yards. <laughs> yeah, we have nothing to measure it against. Maybe we'll get the launch monitor out here one of these days and uh, test out that tee, but off to a good start for Ashley. Well, not quite in the middle of the fairway, but pretty close. Got about 130 yards left in, going with my five hybrid. Oh, still right down the center. <laughs> Ashley is keeping it straight down the middle of the fairway. She's not getting in any trouble. So uh, I got my work cut out for me. I think I got about I don't know, like 70 or 80 yards left. I'm gonna go with the uh, the gap wedge of the Mizuno uh, JPX 850s. Oh. Nice shot. That's one of the original uh, Pro V ones. I think still spins like crazy. It's like what 20 years old. Yeah. Found it at uh, Goodwill the other day. <laughs> I got a putt for birdie. Ashley's got a uh, chip for birdie. Yep. Net eagle. <laughs> Well, that's good. That is a good shot. Roll up, roll up. All right, Ashley's got that for par net birdie and minus for birdie, so. Birdie, think, birdie. Yeah, I think we've got uh, our handicaps correct. <laughs> and then you get that one extra one for the penalty, because nice. I cheated. Yep, you did. Have I mentioned that I cheated? You cheated. I cheated. Well, that looks good. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh! <laughs> uh, world's greatest putter strikes again. <laughs> All right. Into the hole. Yep. So I've got uh, what is that? Probably about six feet just to tie the hole now. Well, I played that hole about as well as I possibly could, and I still lost. Yeah. I did miss a six footer, but I was putting with the gap wedge. Still, Ashley's uh, streak of uh, matches. He beat my dad the last yeah. match, and you've beaten me like four times in a row. So we might have to rethink our little uh, handicap system. No working in my favor. I like it. <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> uh, yep. Uh, we're going to skip this next hole because there's a huge force carry off of the tee. And then I think the next hole after this one is a par three. So we'll meet you up there. But Ashley's one up through one. 
and she uh, is gonna let me know about it the entire walk up there. Yep. <laughs> All right, we lied, we skipped two holes because there was a force carry on those two holes that were quite substantial. This one does have a force carry, but it is not as long. The uh, pin is right there behind that tree. And then right there, there's a little uh, gap in between the uh, fairway and the green. That's only like a 10 yard carry, so we should be good. Or else we're gonna just keep skipping every single hole. <laughs> so you say, although last time I was in the second water, so. The second water? You've yeah. gotten a lot better since the last time we played here, so you should be good. Hopefully. I need an advantage. You're, uh, you're gonna kill me probably. <laughs> little fade. Arnold Palmer finish. Should be fine. Actually, you hit it through the fairway. Well, hopefully we can find that, but you should have a good angle if we can find it. You won't have to deal with that tree in the front. I'm going to lay up with a uh, five iron, hopefully have a good yardage for the gap wedge. Avoided the water though. Yeah, you did avoid the water. That was a uh, <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> Too far and too far to the right. Oh, no. We should have a shot. Well, I avoided the water, but now I have a very long carry over the other water. So, wish me luck. Skip, skip. Woo. Did it go over? Yeah, we're off. Oh, man. Just off. I think it's on the fringe. Yeah, the just off the fringe, or just off the green on the fringe. That was a great shot. Over the water. <laughs> Over the water. Man, you've gotten so much better. I was kind of uh, banking on you hitting the ball in the water. Yeah, exactly. I should, Mentally, probably shouldn't though, say that. Yeah, that's why I, I corrected myself mentally. I was like, there's no water. It doesn't exist. There you go. Jedi mind trick. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the water you are looking for. <laughs> wow. That's all I got, guys. <laughs> if she still beats me, this is good golf for me. If she still beats me, we got to uh, reconsider these handicaps. No, never. All right, mine didn't end up as close as I thought, but Ashley has a pretty ridiculous putt coming up here. If she makes this, I quit. Go, go. Oh, it's gonna be a putt off. And yep, Ashley's probably gonna win that uh, battle as well. Here's our opening. That was a difficult, that was three putt written all over it. Although it doesn't hurt your putting stats because it's technically only a two putt. But uh, <laughs> let's see what I can do. Well, that's looking really. <clears throat> yep. Is that good? Yeah, you're good. Yours is good. <laughs> Don't even need a putter. All right, I'm one up through two. The next hole is a par four, 220 yards. John could probably drive this hole, so I really need to be on my game for this one. Crushed. Oh, you might drive the green, let alone me. Wow, what a shot. You might actually good. driven it in the green side bunker. Oh, no, hopefully not. <laughs> All right, got uh, my work cut out for me for sure. <laughs> Looks like you're on the green, right? Yeah, I like these things. I haven't hit a uh, Mizuno hybrid in a long time. I've tried some of their driving irons, but hybrid, I like it better than the driving iron. Ashley's got 60 yards left. <laughs> got to carry the bunker. I thought it rolled into the front bunker, but it was a mirage, just like my ability to speak. Yep. Oh, that is looking good. Might be a little bit short. You did avoid the bunker though. You have another square strike, you should be good. Yeah. You're at least in for par probably, so I have to make mine. Her. Do something. Math. <laughs> Do something. Math. <laughs> Ashley is switching things up. She's going to putt it. Usually deadly with the uh, square strike. Oh, well, that was pretty good. Didn't break as much as we thought. A you got, yeah, a little zippy to <laughs> say the least. I think you got like seven feet left for yeah. par net birdie. So uh, yeah, mine's for eagle. Might have a stroke or I might uh, have a chance on this hole. Yep. Oh, uh, is that good? Yes, that's good. All right, so you got to putt for par birdie. Cool. We cannot, we cannot catch a break. I don't know why I say we because you guys always root for <laughs> Ashley, but thought that was going to be our opportunity. Yeah, All right, I am dormy, <laughs> dormy going into the last hole. You are one up with one left to go, so. I don't know, we might have to play extra holes. That's if I manage to win a hole, I guess. Uh, Ashley is already celebrating her soon-to-be victory. The next hole is a 117-yard par three. Although you do have to carry it over some, uh, a little bit of a nature yep. preserve area, but. But I have a shot and a mulligan. Yeah, she has a shot and a mulligan. And I was just doing the math in my head. You parred the first hole with a 40-foot putt. You parred that hole with like a 10-foot putt. And you had a bogey on that really hard hole. So you're one over through three. I will take that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know if you're quite a beginner golfer still, 
but that is really good. Yes. So either way. I'm in between. I'm yeah, my protege is uh, outpacing me. We'll have to figure <laughs> out some more different challenges. No. Maybe she'll play with the pawn shop clubs next time. Yeah, you get to play Although I'm one under through three and I'm losing, so. I like my strokes though. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> All right, 117 yards. What are you going with, that five hybrid? Yeah, also, I've been that well. Yeah. I also caddy for you still. Yes. Maybe I shouldn't caddy for you anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> then it'll all go downhill. <laughs> yep. Oh, carry, carry. Another one of those uh, Arnold Palmer finishes. And you are right in the middle of the green. <sighs> Basically, I have to get a hole in one here. No, oh, I it think... looks good, but it's short. Oh, okay. Well, I think that was an optical illusion for both of us because John is actually closer to the hole and I am off the green, but luckily I still have a mulligan. And a shot. And a shot. <laughs> no, mine's pretty far away. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm still off the green. So. It's not a mirage though. You still have a mulligan and a shot. Okay. <laughs> that one is not. That one's true. All right, Ashley for the win. All that is looking good. You have putted lights out today. So that one is for par net birdie. So I basically have to make my putt. Not very likely. Nope. Nope. Uh, it's a good try though. You weren't even putting. I was putting just now with a putter. <laughs> for honor. All right, here is what the victor gets to enjoy. We finally did it, a Olaf quesadilla. <laughs> this waffle maker's different. You can build your own Olaf. Yeah, the uh, other Olaf was just like his face. This yeah. one you can like build- His face you, and the whole body. You can build a snowman if you want to, but uh, <laughs> Ashley, well, I guess it's just a cheese quesadilla. Let's see if it tastes like a cheese quesadilla. Does it taste like a cheese quesadilla? It's all melted in the middle. That's the most important. Yeah. Good? Delicious. All right, guys, hope you did like this video. Ashley is a winner again. <laughs> I think she's like 5-0 and in all of these challenges, but hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe, and... We'll see you next time. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to build a snowman. Yep. <laughs> it's already, yeah, it would have been better if we did something that like required pieces. Yeah. Next time, we'll actually try a waffle. One thing we have never put in there. Nah. No waffle. <laughs>